Texas Tech head baseball coach Dan Spencer and the Red Raiders get the green light to begin fundraising for renovations to Texas Dan Law Field, a $12 million proposal through MWN Architects that would boost the stadium seating to nearly 5,000 total with 2,400 chair back seats, 2,000 bench seats, and 12 luxury boxes and around 300 club seats. The architecture would be similar to that of the west and east side facades at Jones AT&T Stadium, complete with 40-foot high walls surrounding the main entrance around home plate. Spencer said he likes what he is hearing so far and is excited to get things underway. You know what? It's going. It's very pop. It's been it's been well received um, by the people we've talked to. The uh, I think people understand that it's um, that it's important. Um, and, and you know we're, we're trying to get you know the, the hard part of the the project really is for for example. Um, you know, most of our fans, outside of our parents, they don't see games unless they're here. So they don't really know what you're competing against when you're recruiting against because they haven't been to Texas ballpark. They haven't been to TCU's ballpark. They haven't been to Texas State's ballpark. They haven't been to Baylor's ballpark. They haven't been to A&M. They haven't been to Kansas State. You know, Kansas State and, you know, they have a stadium. Kansas State has a stadium. You know, they put together for about $6 million four or five years ago. Missouri's in the process of building the real stadium. You know, Kansas just put $4 million in their clubhouse. So, I mean, people don't understand that the, they don't fully understand. They look at our park, and we like our park, too. I mean, we like our turf. We like our stadium. We, li- or we like our fence and our diamond vision, and we love our clubhouse, and we love our indoor and our facilities in the bubble. We don't like our stadium. Mm-hmm. There's no wow there for a recruit because he just came from Baylor and saw theirs. And now he comes here, and the next week he's going to, t- to Arkansas to look at their deal. You know, I, we think it's our time. We think it's time for baseball. I mean, we put a lot of money into, obviously, football. And that's, you know, football is a separate entity because they pay the bills for everybody. But we've got a beautiful basketball arena. We've got a beautiful football stadium. We've got, you know, we just put money into our track, which we should. We, you know, we got $5 million into our softball, you know, stadium. Soccer just got their facelift, and it's a beautiful building. Uh, they're working on the clubhouse for the golf teams. I think that's all great, too, by the way. But I also think it's our turn. So, you know, and that's up to us. We're going to go out and we're going to hustle and see if we can't get people to say, hey, you know what, we want you to play in the same kind of building that everybody else in your league's playing in. What would it mean to you not just to get to that NCAA tournament, but the host around here? Oh, boy, you know. That, that, well, that's the goal. That's the ultimate goal because if you want to play in Omaha, you need to start. You need to host. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a hard road, and, and we never did it at Oregon State. We went on the w- road and won a regional, and then got a and then got a super at home, and went. But it's rare, like Fresno State, right. to go on the gauntlet, run the gauntlet. You know, in the regionals they were in it was a tough, tough regional, and then they want the super regional, maybe at the toughest place to win two games. In the, I mean, going to Arizona State and winning a series is a tough deal. I mean, and and they did it. So it, to raise your, to give yourself opportunities, you need to host.